you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Can you uh, talk about like uh, what went into you want to to sue the rapper Rick Ross for taking your name and why you felt that well, was important? I, I didn't really want to sue. I didn't really want to sue the rapper. The yeah. lawyer came to me and told me that Universal owed me fifty million dollars. Really? Yeah. So uh, he told me that he would do all the work and, and all I would have to do was sign the paper saying that he was my attorney. Yeah. So I did it. The rapper was acting. Yeah. Know, didn't bring me nothing when I got home from prison and said, yeah. hey man, here's, here's five dollars for using your name. Yeah. Uh, he didn't do that. And so I was like, yeah, it's soon. Yeah. And then, you know, once the lawsuit got going, I got wound up in it. And, yeah. And it turned into a, it turned into a fight. Yeah. And you know, I like fights. So, yeah. So I fought back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they come in there with 15 lawyers and yeah. all that bullshit. And, yeah. And, you know, but no, I never really wanted to sue him. Uh, and it really was a distraction for me. The whole lawsuit was a distraction. It yeah, set me it was back a lot. It was like that. Set me back a few years. Yeah. You know, now, uh, you know, my business is booming. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and it would have been probably booming then it had I not been so focused on going or meet with lawyers every day. Yeah. And it's like I put a whole other burden on you. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, already I was already fighting trying to save my mama's house. Yeah. You know, so you add all those things up. It's a lot. You know, now I'm not really focused on what my plan was when I was in prison. Yeah. You know, my plan has been put on hold because, for one, my mom is about to be homeless. Yeah. And then I'm living with my mom. I got two new babies. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot. Yeah. Uh, your name, uh, your nickname, Freeway. Did you did you always take take on to that? You always liked it? Or? Nah, I didn't like you it. You didn't like it? No, I do name Jake Clayton name was for Freeway Boys. And yeah. He, he didn't like us, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, but it, it stuck, you know, and, and once we started selling drugs, you know, everybody started saying the Freeway Boys. Yeah. Jake was kind of like, almost like a, uh, not quite like a tookie, but close. Yeah. He was close to that level. Yeah. You know, and he was a low rider, more of a low rider gang banger, though. And in the low riding scene, he was the man in the low riding scene. Yeah. You know, he was one of the top dogs, you know. Yeah. So, uh, when he started saying it, everybody started saying it. Oh, the freeway boys, the freeway yeah. boys. So it kind of got that popular and it stuck. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, once you start having money, it, it went from being the junkie ass freeway boys to yeah. the freeway boys. Yeah. So, you know, um, it eventually stuck. You know, now you yeah. see I wear it on my shirt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did people ever get mad at you for, for bringing their names up or like. Like yeah, in, I had in people. The I've had people. I had people get it in yeah. both book and 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 in interviews. Yeah. You know. uh, but I mean, some of the information. Some people have passed away, and some of the information is already kind of out there because they might have got caught or anything. I mean, it's not like. Well, I have mentioned nobody named that would get them in any trouble or anything yeah. like that. But of you know, at the end of the day, it's their story, and and. You know, that's why I don't talk about a few people that I used to talk about before. Yeah. Uh, because I only talk about them to lift them up. Yeah. You know, I never talk about them to, lift, to, to tear them down. Yeah. Uh, but it is what it is, you know. Yeah. When you say you've had, like, assassination attempts on your life, like, are you talking about from, like, the police, the feds, or the street people? Like, who, who, who do you feel well, like was coming I mean, after I mean, you? I didn't say, uh, only time that, that anybody ever... Well, I've been shot at a few times. But yeah. Not assassination attempts. Yeah. You know, that was, he shot at me because I stole his car. Yeah. You know, and I fucked his car. I cut the top of his car off. Yeah. Purposely, because I was mad. Yeah. You know, I, I made sure I cut the top of that motherfucker <laughs> off. Uh, but, but for the most part, no, I was almost kidnapped one time. Yeah. But, but, no, nah, nah, I don't believe that there was ever any assassination attempts uh, made on my life. What made you want to get into like the hotel and real estate game? Well, uh, uh, after my mom had put me out of her house, I moved in with one of my cousins, and uh, it didn't get it didn't go along well for a while. Yeah. And then I moved in motels, and so I used to go to motels. We spent forty five dollars a night, and sometimes we couldn't get a room. Yeah. So I was like, damn, for this little bitty room, it's forty five dollars a night. Uh, I should uh, I should build one of these motherfuckers. Yeah. What, what, so that's what I did. Would you say that it was it was uh, it was very like uh, you made a lot of money off it at that time? 
Off of motels? Yeah. Uh, they did all right. They did all right. Yeah. Like, I, I thought it was kind of cool just because, like, we need, like, even now, like, I feel like we, 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 we still yearning for more black people to be involved in the in the hotel and yeah, well, that industry. Well, you know, our people don't take their money and do anything with it. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a, I don't know where a black hotel is in the country. You know, That's what I'm saying, like. Right? <laughs> Well, in Detroit was one on Detroit, oh, okay. Detroit on the on the riverfront. Yeah, I thought I always thought that I thought that would be the entire for you to do. Um, well, I plan on doing that. Okay, I plan yeah. On building some. Uh, 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 um, a you should for hotels. sure. <laughs> What's your take on the coronavirus vaccine? Uh, I'm not taking it. Yeah. Uh, I don't need it. You know, um, I had a doctor that put me up on vitamin D and zinc. Yeah. And I've had a few friends, about 10, that go to the hospital, and, and uh, I put them up on the vitamin D and zinc, and yeah. they were at the hospital in a couple of days. Yeah. That's, nah, I, I, that's tight. But there, it's definitely natural vitamins you can take that can help you prevent yourself from getting sick. So I think that I think that's smart yeah. that you do it. And, I mean, we don't really know the effects on it. Yeah, well, you know, Dr. Lesser Matthews is, is one of the top surgeons in the world. Yeah. You know, black guy. And he really should be advising the White House about dealing with the coronavirus, but he's the wrong color. Yeah. So Dr. Fauci ain't going to bring him up. Yeah. Uh, but I just thought that uh, it was worth mentioning his name. Uh, people should go and check him out. He's probably the foremost researcher on vitamin D. Yeah. And he put me up on, on, uh, on the vitamin D. And, yeah. And so far, uh, nobody in my immediate circle has had a coronavirus. Even the one where the whole whole office buildings yeah. have gotten sick. Yeah, they they're the only ones. That's crazy. And they're the only ones who didn't. Or well, people need to get on it for sure. Yeah, you should be taking your vitamin D three high 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 doses. You know, uh, five thousand milligrams, three thousand yeah. milligrams every day, every other day. Yeah. <clears throat> if you could relive your life, is there anything you would change? Nothing. I love who I am right now. Today, I'm having a ball. Yeah. Life is good. What made you want to, uh, I know you're about to get into the music industry, like what made you want to get into that? Well, you know, I, I did music a few times. For real? Know, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, I financed Anita Baker's first album with Otis Smith. That's uh, crazy. I found the Alcoholics. Uh, I had an opportunity to, to, to work with Dre before anybody had, this, before Easy e had discovered him. Yeah. You know, um, and, and I feel I missed those opportunities. Yeah. So what I what I what I like to do is when I miss opportunity, I like to go back and, and correct it. Yeah. You know, just like in tennis, fix your backhand. Yeah. So now I'm getting ready to build a major record label. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring some innovative ideas to the game, and you know, with this new marijuana uh, grow that I'm doing, you know, I'm gonna have more money than than seeing. So, yeah. I don't know, I'll be doing all kinds of stuff. You know, I'll probably, you? probably buy a football team, a basketball yeah, team, be tight. <laughs> you know, baseball team. You know, I'll probably be the first black uh, majority owner. Yeah, that would be, that'll be tight. We teams. definitely need that for sure. Even if it ain't in my name, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I might have a straw man yeah. out front instead of like they do us. They put us out front. Oh, yeah. say you own this. Yeah. And, and you really, you know, just the front man for somebody else. You own 2%. Yeah. What went into the decision for you to uh, to to come out with your own weed strain? Um, it was easy, man. You know, I was already selling weed on the black market. Yeah. So uh, when I saw everybody going legal, I was like, shit, I might as well go legal with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I like to have one of those stores sitting on the, on the corner yeah. with a sign up to say, "I sell weed." Yeah. I sell it good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's the most money you spent in a day? I don't know, man. I just spent a lot of money before. A few hundred thousand, probably. Yeah. I spent. A, I spent. A, I used to spend a lot of money. You know. Yeah. I used to almost give away thirty, forty thousand every day. Really? Yeah. Just riding down the street, people ask you, "Oh, my rent due. My car got repo. And my son in jail. You know, he worked for you. And yeah. He ain't got no money right now. He needs some money on his books. He need bail. Yeah. Yeah. He lawyer." You know? Did you feel entitled to help people, or? I mean, you know, I feel like the more you got, the more you should give. Yeah. No, I, I feel like that's very uh, cool of you. When I feel like you get being so like giving to the people, pe that reflected back on people. People are not trying to do like shady shit. Feel like you, you hold it out. You know. All that's that why they love me now. Yeah. <laughs> I gave so much. Yeah. 
Wait till wait till I finish this grow. Yeah. They think they love me then. They, they really gonna love you. <laughs> you thought you loved me then, you really gonna love me now. No, I'm I'm finna make two hundred and fifty people millionaires. Yeah. Yeah. It off off the marijuana business. <laughs> Nah, I do more than just marijuana. Yeah. You know, I got my own my yeah. own clothing line. Yeah. This is one of my fighters, not Finn Charles. Yeah. Also got a fighter named Kid Austin. A couple other fighters. That, you got uh, fi boxers. Boxers, yeah. We, we, I'm promoting my first fight. Um, where, where's it going to be? Co-promotion in Atlanta. I got to check that out. Yeah, I'm co-promoting the fight in Atlanta uh, the 19th, Juneteenth. I gotta check that out. I want to see. I love boxing. I want to check that out. Oh, you can watch sure. it on my channel. Yeah. Uh, my channel is uh, Freeway Live. Yeah. Where we be streaming the fight. Like pay per view. Yeah, like pay per view. That's tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you on top of the game. You don't finna get pay per view run for their money. Yeah. Know? Are you into crypto or stocks? Not nah, yet. I don't really understand crypto. I don't know where the money is at. You know, I, I can't believe that my money is on the phone that if I drop it in the toilet and forget my password. My money gone. Yeah. No, I need to be able to walk down to the bank, knock on the door, be like, hold up, man, I forgot my password, but y'all got the paperwork in there. Give me my money. Uh, and crypto just doesn't give me that, that security. Uh, to me, crypto is more like gambling. Right? Yeah. You know, nah, it's a gamble for sure. When I ask people, uh, how do they know which coin is going to go up, and they can't tell me. Yeah. And if you can't tell me why, the coin, like I can tell you why weed is going to go up or down. Yeah. You know, so so if, if they can't do that with me, I don't, I don't think that I should be. That I should be investing in it. Yeah. Do you know who uh, Charleston White is? Are you familiar with him? Charles Charleston White. Yeah. Are you familiar with who that is? Okay. I just like a dude who's been real radical. He just kind of made a statement saying that Nipsey didn't do anything for black people. How Asian people can't be cribs or do you have any uh, comments on that or no comment? Okay, I got you. Um, you a person? You're a person who we see. You know, start with nothing and get it all and lose it all and get it back like how are you able to stay mentally strong and fight through that I feel it's my duty to um, be the best that I can be um, and, and you know and black people need me to be successful you yeah. know they need somebody that they can say that if he did it I did it and and, and of course this we did something for black people yeah because he gave them hope that you can start from nothing. You know, I, I remember when Nipsey really didn't have nothing. When I got out of prison, Nipsey wasn't wasn't doing that well. Yeah. So uh, he definitely uh, gave black people some hope and, and nah, for sure and, and, and some um, and some inspiration if nothing else. Yeah. Uh, for my final question, I want to ask you: What advice, if any, would you give to the younger you? Learn how to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found out reading was like cheating, though. Yeah. You know, uh, when I was coming up, I didn't know where to get game from. Yeah. You know, I was running around asking people for game, you know, yeah. and guys were telling me, hey, use a gun. Yeah. And another guy, use a snatch bar. Yeah. You know, to steal a car. Yeah. Uh, 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 break in the house. Yeah. You know, catch somebody coming from an ATM machine and, and rob them. Yeah. So, if I'd have been able to get a book, I could have learned, you know, that Walmart started with ten thousand dollars. Yeah. You know. I got uh, you. Uh, yeah. And that he's not a genius. Yeah. You know, so uh, uh, reading books really, really helped me uh, uh, put my strategy together and, yeah. and to understand that that I'm just as good or better than the people who run this country. Yeah. Nah, and I'm it's going to show in a minute. Yeah, nah. Uh, you about to do some big things. I'm, I'm excited to see everything uh, come to full fruition for you. Um, One day they might see me buy Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you should do it, man. I, we, I we, might. We need more might. people that look like us with, 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 with in charge of these big corporations I'm, and stuff. I might. Yeah. You know, we need them because yeah. they, don't, they don't really respect us. And, and, and really, we, we make enough money. We make Black people make enough money to buy Amazon. Yeah. And, and Facebook and, yeah. and, and Walmart and, and all that, but we have no consolidation. You know, we don't we don't unify. Yeah. And um, if somebody ever get us to unify around a goal, and take the world who, over. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows where we go? Nah. For sure. <laughs>
Uh, once again, I want to uh, say it's a pleasure to, uh, to have you here. I thank you for having this conversation with me. We got Freeway Rick, the real Rick Ross, dope interview on the way. Appreciate you. You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell.